Hey guys, well I just got off doing my Black Friday shopping, although it's still Thursday, but it's still considered a Black Friday special. Uh, I went to Walmart, it was the only time I really had to go, it was the only place I really had time to go this year. Uh, sadly this year, well, certainly sadly, I'm working this year, so it's great. Um, I'm not working for any major store that's selling stuff for Black Friday or anything, I'm still working, uh, I'm working in a bakery warehouse. But anyway, um, for one of the grocery stores around our area. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, I can't go shopping tomorrow for Black Friday, so because I have to work early in the morning. I mean, I guess I could stay up all night if I wanted to and go into work. But I know for a fact tomorrow not a lot of people are going to be there, and it's probably going to be like a 10, 11 hour day. And working 10, 11 hours with no sleep does not sound like a good idea to me. <laughs> so anyway, um... So this year I was actually kind of happy to see, uh, well I've known this, this has been a trend for the last couple of years as a lot of stores will open early. And uh, for this year, um, both Best Buy and Walmart I think opened at 6. Uh, and I only had time to go to one, I couldn't go to both. Um, just because of the distance between each store and just you know the, top, the amount it takes to get everything you need and get sit through the lines and stuff, I, just, I only had time for one. So the one I picked was the closest one to me, which was Walmart. So, and to be honest, the price differences between Best Buy and Walmart were pretty much, they were basically exactly the same prices for the exact same amount, same titles. So, uh, but anyway, so this is what I picked up this year. I picked up one DVD and the rest are on Blu-ray. So I picked up a nice, decent haul. So I guess we'll start off with this first. I'll just grab a bunch here. First one I picked up was Redemption. This is a Jason Statham movie, which I have not seen yet, but uh, I think it was like three dollars. I think three dollars, some some change on uh, Blu-ray, not bad. So three dollars, definitely to pick that up. The Purge. I haven't seen the. I haven't seen. Well, this is the first one. I haven't seen the second one, obviously yet either. But I wanted to at least check out the first one. So three dollars, Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, definitely. Maybe that was six dollars. Maybe I think that was six dollars. The Expendables, this is the extended director's cut. Um, I have this on DVD, but I don't have it on Blu-ray, so definitely pick that up. This was like $3. Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Hercules, the extended cut. This is the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. This was $6. Um, funny enough, they actually wanted 7 for the DVD. So I was like, um, why are they charging so much more for the DVD when... You can get the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack for six, and you can get the DVD by itself for seven. That's why I bought the. Uh, I wanted to get it on Blu-ray anyway to begin with. So, and also I have also picked up a Legend of Hercules in 3D. This is this is the Blu-ray and 2D blu uh, 3D Blu-ray and the 2D Blu-ray combo pack. Uh, probably it's probably it's on one disc probably, but uh, yeah, definitely had to pick it up. This was six dollars, and for the 3D and the 2D, can't complain. Another one I wanted to see in theaters last year, but I never got a chance to see, was I, Frankenstein. This is uh, the 3D Blu-ray, the 2D Blu-ray, and the DVD combo pack for 6 bucks. I think that's a pretty awesome deal. And one of these I had on, I still have on DVD, but it's a blockbuster rental, and I wanted to get it on Blu-ray anyway. And of course, I also wanted to pick up its sequel as well, and that is Red and Red 2. I actually saw Red 2 in theaters uh, last year, I thought it was pretty good, so um, definitely had to. Or was Red Two come out this year? Was it this year? I think it came. I can't remember. Either Red Two came out. Or, let's see. This was 2000, 2013, So last year, saw this in theaters last year. Saw this. Uh, I bought the. I think I bought. Yeah, it was a blockbuster rental. Um, I enjoyed both these films, and I definitely had to pick them up on Blu-ray. The best part is this came with the uh, DVD combo pack as well. So I now have both films on DVD and Blu-ray. All right, next one is it uh, Sam some oh uh, sabotage for some reason I couldn't uh, my 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 brain couldn't figure out what was what the word was sabotage. This is the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, which honestly I don't think it got a lot of uh, I don't hear anybody talking about this movie, so. I, I don't even remember th even seeing a commercial for or a trailer for anything about it, so uh, I don't know why this movie kind of got overlooked. Like nobody I know like talks about it or anything. So, um, but uh, I definitely to pick it up. This was uh, I think this was 
ten dollars I think on Blu-ray but it's the DVD and Blu-ray combo pack I love Arnold Schwarzenegger movies and this is one I have not seen so ten bucks for the DVD and Blu-ray can't complain and it's one nobody talks about so and then for I think this was six dollars I picked up two guns Mark Wahlberg Denzel Washington movie I've been wanting to check out for a while it's a DVD and Blu-ray and combo pack can't complain awesome I think this was also six dollars I picked up Ender's Game. I actually have the book. Um, debating, do I want to read the book first, then watch the movie, or do I want? I think I'll watch the movie first, then I'll read the book. But this is the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. Love Harrison Ford, so definitely have to pick it up. So looking forward to checking it out. I heard it was pretty good. Another movie I meant to see last year, but never got a chance to see, and that is the Lone's, uh, the Lone Survivor. This I believe was also six dollars, but um, DVD and Blu-ray combo pack. You two stop fighting guinea pigs. Anyway, uh, another movie that was really popular last year that I sadly did not go see in theaters. I actually kind of dreading it because this was an IMAX and after, um, I have it on DVD but I wanted to pick up the Blu-ray uh, because visually it's very very stunning and to be honest, after seeing it I was like, oh, this is a movie that I should have saw on IMAX and I didn't. And that is Gravity. So for six bucks, definitely had to pick this up. I think it was six dollars. Maybe this was three dollars. I don't remember. Anyway, I don't feel like looking at the um, at the receipt. And then for the last Blu-ray I picked up, I picked up Will Ferrell in the Anchorman. I picked up the first one. Uh, I think they might have had the second one as well, but I didn't have enough money to pick it up. But uh, I definitely wanted to check out the first one just to see if I liked it or not. Because you know, when it comes to comedy movies, it's hit or miss, although I really enjoy Will Ferrell's movies, so, um, we'll see. And finally, I actually was going to originally pick this up on Blu-ray, but I decided I'll just pick up the DVD, since it was only, like, it was only $2. I picked up Grudge Match. This has, uh, you know, Robert De Niro in it, so, and Stal uh, St Sylvester Stallone, so, uh, definitely looking forward to checking these two fight. That's definitely going to be interesting to see, so, especially since I think well, they're both, well, I think Stallone's like 68, and De Niro's like 72, I think. So, seeing two older guys fight is definitely looking, I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Alrighty, guys, so that's it for this haul for this year. Um, I don't know if my Black Friday video from last year is still up. I don't know. I'm not even sure if I did one last year or not. I honestly don't remember. But, uh, anyway... Decent haul, I think, this year. Not bad. I pay. I spent about 100 bucks, which is about normally what I spend every Black Friday anyway. Although, funny enough, it's still Thursday. So I guess you would consider this Brown Thursday, I believe is what they call it. But whatever. Anyway, like I said, I would have loved to have shopped tomorrow, but I have work tomorrow morning. So, um, but hey, I'll be making my 100 bucks back tomorrow. So, can't wait. So. It'd be uh, it'd be interesting to see how, cause I know a lot I know a lot of the uh, seniority people who've been there for a while did get tomorrow off. I tried getting off a few weeks ago, but they said no, no way, we need you. So I was like, all right, whatever. Um, but I know a lot of the people that've been there for a long time, uh, they got the seniority to uh, head the day off. So um, and I haven't even been there a year yet. So um, so, but I'm hoping to stay. I'm hoping they'll they'll keep me so I can, cause I enjoy the job. So. Alrighty guys, I'll stop mumble, mumbling, and uh, um, I'm actually thinking about checking, starting one of these movies tonight, so I guess I better stop talking, and uh, definitely, uh, definitely, the fun part is deciding which movie I want to see too, so we'll see. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching, hope you guys enjoyed your uh, Brown Thursday slash Black Friday craziness uh, shopping, and uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, the other thing I was kind of, the, the other the one thing I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't go this year was I actually now have a working, uh, I have a camera, uh, I have a phone that has a really good camera on it. And I was hoping to do a Black Friday haul shopping video for this year. But I can't do it this year, so, oh well. Uh, so next year, hopefully next year, I'm, ho I'm definitely, some of the guys told me if I want to get Black Friday off, ask in January. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put in my time for... I'll ask in January for next year uh, for having Black Friday off. So hopefully next year I'll be able to go on Black Friday. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you guys later. Bye.